What's going on guys? This is Mugen Katsuki here and today I am not feeling well. I uh, just recently had surgery of uh, yesterday uh, to get um, my kidney stones issue resolved but uh, for the time being guys I'm just gonna do um, video from my phone. I'm on uh, iPhone 6 plus and um, I'm very sorry I can't do it through the normal format. I feel bad because I normally aim for quality and you know like for perfection that's just how I am as a content creator but I'm just gonna basically help you guys with the Zer location he's at the reef today uh, well that's just say since Friday but he's at the reef still as of now and you're getting a camera shot from my cell phone which is very bad and I do apologize again this is not gonna be the purpose of like oh i'm making the best deserve video out there it's just to get the the info out where he's at what he has so on and so forth so let's get this started okay i'm gonna get up for this part mind me i am very weak right now so i shouldn't be doing this but it's okay guys all right so zer has for today is he has a legacy ingram chess piece which is not a recommended buy. Don't get it because it will only give you year one chess piece and you're not going to want that. He has the internal warrior helmet for the Titan. He has the knucklehead radar for the Hunter. He has the impossible machines for your warlock. And he has the Ciro's regime. So let's start back at the internal warrior. It's a helmet for the Titan. Intellect is at 83. Max is out to 102, which is great. And the useful ability that you can obtain is gain unstoppable for Fist of Havoc. Now, unstoppable for Fist of Havoc basically allows you not to, you know, get hurt as much while you're in the midst of super. So you gain like more of a tanky kind of build with that helmet on. Uh, next, we have the Knucklehead Radar, which is uh, for the Hunter. Has discipline and strength, uh, stock at 45 and 39. And it goes up to 64 discipline and 58 strength. The special ability for this helmet is radar remains visible while aiming with primary weapons. So if you use any primary weapon, you'll still have your, your base radar while you're shooting. Good for PvP, good for PvE, all around great helmet. The Impossible Machines, one of my favorite exotics to use for the Warlock. It has 37 intellect, 35 strength, uh, 54 intellect at the finish, and... 52 strength at the finish and it grants landfall what landfall is basically when you activate your super it creates a thunder shock whip to the ground so it does um area damage to enemies or anything in pvp very good for the um, the storm trance class and the last but not least the exotic gun the serious regime one of my all-time favorites from year one and they brought it back and revamped it in year two and it's still pretty strong in year three um the special thing about this is two different abilities. The bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return help on kill. Also, when zoomed on this weapon, it fires slower, but it causes additional damage. That can mean good things for a lot of people, depending on your playstyle. So, yeah, just use this for PvP. Very good, useful auto rifle. PvE, not so much for me, in my opinion. Now for the weapon ornaments, he has Shock Hazard, which is for your Zahalo Supercell, and Born in Fire, which is the Young Wolf's Howl uh, Sword. And he still has his, you know, Heavy, Three of Coin, and Mode of Light. And that's basically it. So my recommendation, guys, is just to get the Knucklehead Radar, the Impossible Machines. And if you need this for your Titan, then by all means get it. Your Cyrus Regime, if you don't have it, Pick it up, very useful weapon. If you already have it, just skip it and no need to get it. And yeah, so just as a reminder, he is in the reef. So he's give you that quick notice. He is in the reef. And that will be it for this week, guys. Um, Trials of Osiris is out as of yesterday. It should be uh, the same, same rules. You could revive your people. It's not like how it was during the Halloween event. Stuff like that. I can't remember the name of the stage, but it's a year one map. And um, hopefully you guys be successful at Trials. Don't forget to do your raids. Get your ornaments. It's still Vol6 with the TVs for this week. 
and I'll be ending this video. Thank you all for who's been supporting me. I am trying my best. I'm sorry I couldn't do it on the computer where it could have been better quality. And I'm on my phone because I'm supposed to be on bed rest. So thank you guys for uh, tuning in and watching my videos. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe to the channel and support as much as you can. Thank you guys. This is Mugen Katsuki signing off. Peace.